Hello, I'm Aaron Matthew Lariosa, DC-based contributor with Naval News. I'm here on the show floor of Sea Airspace 2025 with... Scott Forney, General Atomics uh, Electromagnetic Systems President. And uh, we're seeing at your booth today uh, that there is a new system of General Atomics. Uh, could you describe what it is to our audience? I can. Um, today we've unveiled a new cruise missile. Um, it's called Bullseye. We signed an agreement with Raphael from their icebreaker program, um, which they're making right now. So we're getting the lessons learned on getting cost reduction and uh, we'll build uh, at least half the missile in the United States and General Atomics will be the prime in the United States. Uh, what capability will this bring to the warfighter, uh, both at American potential and uh, potential export customers? Well, I think, I think the number one objective that I, I think is most important is you can imagine a long range uh, attack missile of some sort from uh, air to maritime. I think that that would be its first goal, at least for us. But you could also imagine it launching out of a canister or out of an LMRS system uh, so that you can do box launches or you can do maritime launches. Uh, but we're most excited to put it on air platforms if we can first. Something like the FA-18 would be awesome. In our previous uh, conversations, uh, you really highlighted the uh, industrial capability of General Atomics, especially those CNC machines. Uh, would you say that Rafal leveraging this partnership uh, would greatly uh, tap into those capabilities? Yeah, that's, that's I think, why Raphael actually selected us. We, we had to go through a process with them, and I'm very proud of our relationship. But uh, they did see our commitment, number one, our, and number two, our uh, broad capabilities to manufacture was the printed circuit boards, the seeker, the actual missile itself, the body, the avionics. And we are in very good position in our manufacturing facility to be able to produce, kind of like we do today for a lot of the hypersonic parts, the hypersonic cables or harnesses. Uh, we already build seekers for missile programs, so this is kind of natural for us. Uh, it's been something I've been trying to get to for a while now, so we're very proud of our relationship with Raphael. Based off the icebreaker slash seabreaker system, uh, what unique aspects does General Atomics bring to the missile? So I think one is we have great vertical integration capability. We could probably build 85% more of the missile. We're working with our teammate right now to decide who makes what to make it the most cost effective. That's number one. Number two, we're also very busy right now developing ground-based AESA uh, RF systems. Um, we have airborne um, long-range detect and track capabilities, so you can imagine, especially with the administration's latest talk about Golden Dome, there's so many things that General Atomics has capability for. Even tracking in space, so we're providing tracking and fire control payloads right now for uh, Tranche 2 to uh, our prime Lockheed Martin for the Space Development Agency. So it all kind of hangs together nicely. This is an extension of some work we've done in the past, very similar to parts that we make for hypersonics or we've made for the low-cost interceptor program. Uh, as you know, in our last interview, we talked about the long-range maneuvering projectile. We've got probably two dozen machines operating right now building parts for that. This is not much of an extension um, to go uh, build this missile. Uh, the composite airframe will be the most interesting part. As you know, the uh, other side of the business, General Atomics Aeronautical Systems, makes um, carbon uh, layup uh, airplanes already. So I think General Atomics is in a unique position, but also we're uniquely uh, blessed that um, Rafael has been able to get 1,200 missiles under contract. So as they learn, we learn. The more that they build, the more that we can get the cost down for the United States uh, services. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate your time.